Yo, what's up guys? So, this is what I'm working on today on the S14, obviously. Working on a little bit of the back seat. Uh, I still don't exactly know what I want to do with this car. Um, if I want to do kind of like a clean interior, full interior, but still like a drift car and like a, a nice street car, or if I want to go um, kind of like full race car and just gut the whole thing mostly and not do uh, much interior but have like a nice paint instead um, so I'm not too sure but I think I've <clears throat> decided that I'm not gonna go with back seats for sure um, because I'm gonna end up having a cage or roll bar of some sort uh, back here at some point so don't need the back seats the back seats are pretty well useless anyway they're so small um, but yeah that's where I am today uh, I got all the sound deadening off of uh, the floor here and in the tunnel section and the other seat and also the back the back was a huge pain in the ass because it's so thin uh, it doesn't really like to chip off so I had to melt it and scrape it off but uh, yeah so now I'm gonna take my grinder which is over there with the wire wired wheel brush and I'm gonna clean up all this and uh, make it look uniform somewhat and uh, probably get rid of the seam seal or two in the corners same with over there so that I can paint over it or re-seam seal it uh, I would like to spot weld if possible but uh, I'm not sure if I'll get to that or not um, I might just seam seal what is there and do a little bit better of a job in the factory because it uh, from the factory they just kind of slap it on and make a mess of it but uh, here's the floor that Clark did for me it's not 100% complete yet, but it's pretty well there. We just got to do this middle section here where this piece was. So like that. Um, but yeah, it's pretty well welded all the way around. Just needs to be seam sealed and then painted. Uh, but yeah, that's where we are with the S14. Um, I got some new parts that I'll show you guys later. Probably in another video. I'm not even sure what video this is going to be. But... Yeah, I'm just kind of compiling footage and throwing them into videos just just to keep track of this build because I do want to document everything that uh, I do to this and where it started to see where it ends up and whoever knows how long, a year, two years, three years, however long I have this car and however long it takes me to get it to the point where I want it. But that's the update right now for the 240. But yeah, if you guys have any ideas or opinions or anything what i should do to this what direction i should go with it i do want it to be a fun street car that i can slide around do burnouts whatever i also want it to be half comfortable i don't want it full full race car but i do want it to be I want it to be nice and light and uh, look really clean on the inside whether that be full interior and carpet or uh, if it's just going to be a painted chassis clean that way with some racing seats but i haven't really decided exactly where i want to go like i said but we are uh, making some progress um there's still so much to do but we are we're getting there okay so i'm trying my luck at some welding don't mind the the heater there i'll try to speak loudly i'm filling this hole here this is where the old wiring harness the body harness i guess you'd call it or the chassis harness or whatever so i'm gonna fill that in I traced out my circle here. I'm gonna try my luck at some welding. See what we can do. That should fit that hole. And yeah, I'll just uh, get a magnet from on my cart there. Hopefully it's big enough. And just tack it around, cut this out, put it in place, put a magnet on it, tack it. And uh, hopefully it's that easy. So yeah, let's get into it. Here's how it ended up. Uh, I was doing pretty well up top here. And then kind of went downhill at the bottom there. I don't know why it started burning through so much. And then on the side there, we got a pretty big gap. So that kind of sucks. But um, that was, I was pretty proud of that little bead on the left there. That turned out pretty good, um, but yeah, that's pretty well my second time welding, so don't judge me too much, but yeah, that's going to have to be fixed. Uh, I got to get this wheel back on after uh, 
attempting the patch where the grommet was, or sorry, where the uh, wiring came through for the body harness. Car has to get down on the ground again, um, back on the wheels, and I need to move it back uh, a few feet so that I can get an engine hoist in here and have enough room to pull the RB and trans out because I decided, I guess, I'm gonna pull this out since it's pretty well already there. All I have left is the power steering and the power for the starter and that's pretty much it. Holding this thing in, the engine mounts and that's it. So uh, everything underneath is pretty well disconnected except for the drive shaft, I guess that would be the last thing. Um, so back down on the ground, move back a few feet and then get it back up in the air. I forgot how low this car actually sits on the ground. Like it's not even slammed or anything like that. Like it's respectably low. I mean, it's on coilovers and lowered obviously, but the motor sits, it's been in the air for so long. I forgot that how low the motor sits like it's just up to the bottom of my waist really like it was much easier working on the motor when it was up here is what i'm getting at but uh yeah cars on the ground obviously we're gonna push her back probably pretty close to the back doors here have to get the exhaust out of the way but probably come back to like here just so we have plenty of room up front Yo, what's going on guys? Long time no see. So, back at the shop as you can see and it looks a little bit different in here because the 240 is now more apart than it's ever been. And the motor is pulled as you can tell. RB20 sitting nice and pretty on a tire. Um, I didn't film it but we took the clutch off, or the transmission off and the clutch. Which is here. I think this is the stock KA clutch. I, I would think. Um, my beautiful girlfriend helped me take the trans off last night because I don't have any other friends. So we got that done. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna need a new clutch. I probably should. This one's looking pretty ratty and pretty thin. Um, flywheel definitely could probably use a resurfacing. The trans filthy on the inside, but bearing seems to be real nice. All we have left to do is remove the six bolts on the flywheel here. Uh, also had to pick up a 27 mil socket for the, sorry about the heater, that's super loud. But uh, got a new 27 mil for the crank bolt here. So we'll hold this with the breaker bar and then break these guys loose on this side, take the flywheel off and then it should mount to the engine stand. And, uh, and I can return the engine hoist. Noise. I think it needs to be resurfaced. It's like all burnt. Okay, so I'm removing these 
janky engine mounts. These homemade mounts that the guy before me or whoever owned this car down the road made. And this one, just like everything else on this car, is just finger tight on there. So, yeah, it's nice to have quick release engine mounts because, you know, when you're driving, you ever need to pull that motor, you just come in here and take the bolts off by hand. It's just a good thing to have, you know? Yeah. This one's not too bad, though. This one seems like they tightened it with a wrench. But uh, they're coming out anyway, and I'm going to put in some ISR uh, 240 subframe to RB engine mounts. So it will look a lot better. And then we'll clean up this engine bay and maybe paint it. Okay, so to add to the trend of things being not tight on this, the exhaust manifold bolts are pretty well all very, very easy to get off. Um, I would have thought they would have been tough going through heat cycles and whatnot, but they are, some of them are actually finger tight, so uh, yeah. Okay, so I have a broken exhaust stud here, and this is my first time ever trying to weld a nut to a broken bolt and get it out. So uh, I've got a decent weld in there, I think, and it's starting to loosen up, but I don't know if the bolt's with it or not, so uh, we're about to see. Pretty good. 